We're looking at Hosea chapter 5, verse 9. Ephraim shall be desolate in the day of rebuke. Among the tribes of Israel I make known what is sure. We'll be focusing on this word today, rebuke, which is a word, one of, also one of the more common words you hear in Christianity, but very, very few people venture to find what it means. And uh, the translation is found in Proverbs 5.12. I'm going to flip to that now. Proverbs 5.12 and 11. Okay, Proverbs 5, now i got to find 12. Okay, Proverbs 5 and verse 12. And say, how have I hated instruction, and my heart despised correction. So the word correction here, toeka, is the Hebrew word that it translates into. And the translation reads... This uncommon noun, more frequent in wisdom materials, comes from a verb meaning to correct, repu reprove, or rebuke. The one who rejects reproof goes astray, is stupid, and will die. Proverbs 10, 17, 12, 1, and 15, 10. The one who accepts reproof will be honored, is sensible, and will live. Proverbs 13, 18, 15, 5 through 31. Or 15.5 and 31. Rebuke may be accompanied by the rod. Proverbs 29.15. Ezekiel prophesied about the Lord's furious rebukes against his own people and against enemy nations in Ezekiel 5.15 and 25.17. On the other hand, Habakkuk expected a much less severe response over his questioning of God in Habakkuk 2.1. In a few cases, this term seems to denote, denote an argument or counter-argument in Job 13.6, 23.4, Psalm 38.14. And that's the Hebrew word for rebuke. It is toeka, and it means correction. And in another video, we may uh, look and see, that the, see the Greek variant of this word and if it's any different. But for today, the Hebrew word for rebuke is toeka, and it means correction. Anyways, guys, hope uh, this has helped, and uh, hope, hope it's shed light. That's kind of all I have to say. I guess I could use an, ex an example, like how God, when God corrects, corrects us, puts us on the right path that he wants us to be, and sometimes... It seems like punishment to us because, you know, we might not want to give up that one sin or, or we've gotten comfortable on the path we're on. But God has our best interest in mind, doesn't he? Anyways, guys, yeah, like I said, I hope this has blessed you. I'll see you in the next one. God be willing. God bless you all.